What's up everybody, back at it again with the iOS comparisons. <laughs> We're going to do a quick comparison between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 Plus running iOS 13. Now, we're on beta 2 right now, but the interesting thing is, is that I'm curious to see if one of these phones are faster than the other or is faster. I don't know how you, English way you say that. Because if you think about it, they both have the same specifications on the inside, but they both have different screen types and different screen resolutions. So maybe that has a huge impact onto the speed and performance of it. So let's go ahead and see if that's actually the case or if I'm an idiot, let's go check that out. <laughs> All right, so I installed some third-party apps. Now, I usually do like these system apps, like camera, photos, whatever. But those are pretty basic. We all know those are pretty much gonna open the same speed on both of them. So let's go ahead and look at these third-party apps. Now, I'm going to only open the ones on the iPhone 10, so not all of them on the iPhone 8 Plus I'm gonna open up on here. You're about to see what I mean in a second. But let's do Facebook, three, two, one. And they're all pretty much updated to their most extreme one. So as you can see, the iPhone 10 actually opened that one up faster, which was interesting. Let's do SoundCloud, three, two, one. So this one did get a little pop up so we're gonna go ahead and redo this one let's do it again three two one and I do think it was almost like a tie you will be able to see through the camera which one was actually more accurate but for me looking at it sideways I think maybe the iPhone 10 was a little bit in the lead but it could be a little bit wrong let's do Netflix three two one that was almost a tie right there okay that's kind of interesting let's do Quizlet three two one. Yeah, it's almost like a tie. So these are probably all going to be pretty much the same, at least for the basic apps. I wonder what happens when we go to the more extreme ones once I get to that point. Let's do Dropbox. Three, two, one. It was almost like a tie. I saw the A plus have that little animation first, but that, that one was actually kind of hard to tell as well. Let's do Bofa. Three, two, one. As in both of these phones are almost the same. I don't know why I keep saying that stuff, dude. I'm sorry. I ruin all these comparisons by saying stupid stuff like that. I think the A plus was actually faster there. It kind of looked like the 10 was in the lead, but honestly, I do think the iPhone A plus was a little bit faster. Let's do thank you. Three, two, one. I don't know why they named this that game. Oh, and the iPhone 10 was actually faster there too. Let's see if, you know, gaming wise, if there's any difference. No, it's gonna be exactly the same. This game isn't extremely intensive anyway. It's actually a pretty fun game though. But as you can see, no glitchiness, pretty much the exact same type of gameplay on both of these phones. So not a huge deal right there. Snake versus blocks, three, two, one. And maybe the iPhone 8 Plus was able to get into it a little bit faster there, which is pretty interesting. I don't know why it's like this on there. Oh, I think I actually did the smart invert for the colors. As you can see, gameplay is exactly the same as well. So let's go do Temple Run now. Three, two, one. So I totally butchered this one. We're gonna go ahead and redo this one. Three, two, one. Okay, the iPhone 10 was a little bit faster there too. So I think it's going to be a lot of like flip-flopping, but I don't think one is extremely faster than the other one. Let's do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And it was almost the same there too. I think maybe the iPhone 10 was just like a split second faster, but not that big of a difference. Let's go ahead and get into the actual game, see if there's any difference. No, it's going to be pretty much the same. So, you know, sometimes there are cases where the newer chip or where the, even the same chip is a little bit different on both devices. I was expecting a little bit more of a difference because, you know, we do have an IPS panel at 1080p. We have the iPhone 10 and OLED, but it's a little bit higher resolution than the 8 Plus. So, plus there's different screen sizes as well. So I was expecting something different. Let's do Paper IO, three, two, one. And the iPhone 8 Plus was a little bit faster there as well. So it looks like, again, a lot of flip flopping. Sometimes it's faster there, sometimes it's faster here. It looks to be glitchy kind of on both devices, which is kind of weird because it's not even that intensive of a game. But I think the 8 Plus probably won that one. Let's do Temple Run 2. 3, 2, 1. Okay, I'm gonna not allow them both of them at the same time, so they should be downloading at the same time. And I think the A plus, oh, actually, let's see, you never know. Now. 
I think the A plus, well, it was the first one to bring up this pop-up too, so I would assume the A plus is probably the faster one in, time, in terms of both of them. Let's go ahead and load up the last game, which is Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. Okay, the A Plus was actually the faster one in terms of both of them. I was honestly expecting the iPhone 10 to win here, but you know what? Honestly, I think the uh, between both of them, maybe the A Plus might be a little bit faster. Let's go and load up the multi-core score. And as you can see, I, I was kind of right. We have 250,000 on the iPhone 10 and 257,000 on the A Plus. Now, multi-core scores on everything is not a big deal, really, but it does kind of mean something. And in terms of both of them, I do think, you know, obviously they're both very, very fast phones, but maybe the A Plus is just a little bit faster. So to kind of sum up this whole entire video, I will definitely tell you both of these phones are fast. Like I said 20 seconds ago, the A Plus is, might, might be just a little bit faster, but I guess we'll see what happens when the official version of iOS 13 comes out. Maybe the 10 will kind of reclaim some of its, you know, speed and all that, but, but I love both of these phones and I recommend if you don't even have any of them and you're looking for something, you cannot go wrong with either an A Plus or an iPhone 10. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscribe subscriber that we get really does count so to me so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to them